Hey guys, what's up? This is Jeremy and welcome to another live trading session. I'm currently trading the London session. The market has been open since two hours and I've been waiting for so many setups to occur this morning. I just got no confirmations for anything. So I was basically staying out and just executed a short position in the EURUSD as you can see right here. I will explain you the setup and we will see how this trade is going to play out. Out. So technically, we can see that EURUSD is currently in a correction and we can see how we had a lot of momentum here, took a short trade here on Friday, took profit here as the market had to close. I'm going to show you this setup with a strategy in the next video. So stay tuned. You're going to get a full strategy that you can use to uh, trade on your own. Then we've seen how the market continued to move down, the market consolidated. Then we've seen a breakout here, as you can see when you mark up the oops when you mark up a trend line like this you see a breakout a retest missed that setup unfortunately and the market pumped up now i'm short why am i short you can see how euro has retested this resistance area here and we instantly bounced off that resistance and then i was waiting for euro to bounce off this x support area here and as you can see I'm going to switch to the footprint chart now. As you can see, we had a consolidation here. Now, important to me is to see what actually happens with the volume. By the way, I have a new setup or not new setup, but new design here. I'm working on a new design. It's not finished yet. I'm not very satisfied with it yet, but yeah, I'm going to use it for now. What you can see here is we have the point of control here in the middle. And yeah, the market tends to stay close to the point of control or the point of control gets developed because the market stays in that range. We had a lot of volume in that zone, so we can expect market to stay in a consolidation for a longer time. But overall, we can see within this consolidation, we had absorption at the top. There's the value area high. We have this one impulsive candle here. Whenever the market moved down, we've seen absorption, as you can see here. Bias here, but not in control. So bias, we're coming into the market and the market actually moved down. Then we've seen exhaustion down here and the market or the sellers were not really willing to sell below the support anymore. So the market basically went up, down, up, down, up, down. And then we were not moving up here anymore so we had the first type of exhaustion here in this zone i'm gonna mark it up with a rectangle here so you guys i've got to switch the color real quick as you can see with exhaustion up here right so first we had the majority of buyers up here got absorbed and those buyers were not available anymore they were not there. They were not ready to buy, actually. Price was not moving up anymore, so there was an exhaustion. Price moved down, then we had a very tight range. We're always going to stay out when something like this happens, right? Because anything can happen right now. And then we suddenly see momentum. So what I'm always looking for is a three-wave pattern. I will explain you that in the next video with a full strategy. Is We get from absorption to aggressive selling to absorption or exhaustion. So we see absorption, then we see aggressive selling. Down here, we see, again, aggressive buying to market, but overall front pushing as they had no impact on price. We see a little reversal. The market moved up again, and we can clearly see how the market is exhausting. And then we see absorption. So I've decided to go short as soon as we had another retest of this area. And you can see market gets absorbed here, or buyers getting absorbed, aggressive selling again, another retest of this candle. And we can clearly see another very strong, absorption up here plus exhaustion at the top and aggressive selling got to move stop loss to break even by the way as we've earned the risk so basically once again absorption here the market is exhausting then we had one move to the downside below the support area retest but the market went up again in the cluster statistics we can see how we form delta divergences because the market moves up we had more aggressive selling but market moves up so we again had some bias here trying to actually get are trying to get in control oh wait now i gotta be careful man because we've got some speed here stop loss fishing here right at the vvap so the market's not willing to break this i'm gonna take profits probably because now we had a lot of dynamic and whenever we have such a strong delta here as well as volume we gotta be careful this could be a sign of an upcoming reversal but we broke the vvap pretty nice though so where i was explaining right yeah we had exhaustion here the the, the move up again we had some front pushing here delta divergence so we know something is about to happen market moved up again absorption moved down moved up and very strong absorption no impact at all and aggressive selling here so this is when i decided to go into the trade these three components are necessary for a valid setup to be confirmed.
we see here some absorption we'll have to see whether this continues or not let's get into the one minute chart again like in the last video uh, not too much of aggressive buying here this could actually continue you see here aggressive selling some buying some profit taste probably we are below the vvap it's all good or right at the vvap right now so far so good yeah it looks decent as you can see here market moved up sellers coming in again exhaustion up here all i want to see is now once again more aggressive selling coming into the market if the market is going to retest the point of control here and we see any type of exhaustion i would just make sure that i take the profit so far we see here exhaustion at the top and as you can see we have a majority of buyers but overall they have no impact yet only at this this point of control for now could actually see a retest of this resistance here as you can see here mark it up like this right here is the previous resistance which has been a support here support broke i would usually if i was trade if i was trading the u.s session and the market was fast i would would have taken profit probably already here at the vbap but i want to try to catch a bigger move as long as i have no risk in the market anymore i'm fine so there we got the retest of the resistance remember guys if there is no liquidity in the market the market will make sure to take it and most of the stop losses and stop orders will be above these levels we are now right at this level retest of the resistance and we already see some imbalances that's what i want to see up here light volume imbalances but no impact if we were greedy we would just open another position and it's not closed yet look at this one minute chart nice view reversal here imbalances up instant aggressive selling down puck here at resistance above exhaustion and then we got the retest the retest that i wanted to see liquidity grabbing at resistance zones and after that buyers give up as we know some might have been some stops might have been triggered up here some buyers will give up as market moves against them then we see more stops flying out of the market and we get dynamic and the market moves down now we below the vvap yeah now i'm gonna save some profits here at least here don't want to see another retest if we don't break this absorption zone now and we see an exhaustion no more dynamic no aggressive selling or pock shift to the downside and more and more and more selling then i'm gonna take the profits simple as that so this has been a trade with a more passive management so far in my previous video you have seen how i instantly save profit as soon as i see any type of aggressive buying at the vvap in this case i've decided to make a day trade okay yeah some profit saves for all you know that's okay unfinished auction likely to continue but now we need to see a break now we need to see a break of the zone we are right at the point of control here at this absorption zone so below the vvap as long as we stay below the vvap right now and we get more aggressive selling here it's all good now we see aggressive buying we look no impact no impact so far so limit order still holding it nice to see would be some front pushing right now like a big limit order coming into the market supporting the move down making it hard for aggressive market buys to lift the offer let's have a look at the one minute charts decent volume here yeah puck shift to the downside retest of the vvap exhaustion at the vvap majority of sellers here I'm telling you if, if this vvap doesn't hold right now we're going to move above i'm gonna take profits okay nice yeah exhaustion here the vvap but here again aggressive buying so if we don't see any type of front pushing right now or a flip to sellers okay, nice puck shift the red more aggressive selling coming in nice gonna save profits here at the vvap i just thought to to save it here at the point of control but i want to give it space for the breakout now this could cause volatility bam, 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 bam. up down up down don't want to get stopped out so i will save profits here at the vvap for now okay aggressive market sales here no impact oh there's still uh, there's some absorption happening down here now 
Let's save profits here now. Aggressively. We had a retest of the point of control with exhaustion. There were some aggressive buys coming in, so I wanted to make sure that to save some profits here. Because what we see is, and this is what I don't like, currently we are back at the slow. You can see finished auctions here. We see slightly exhaustions down here. I really don't like to see that. Now we have the point of control here. Pock shift to the downside is good. But overall we see how the sellers here having no impact on price. And here are some buys coming into the market. Some saving 500 bucks right at this point of control. We don't see a break now. Then I don't want to be in the market anymore. The S&P is kind of uncertain. And as long as this high volume area here holds, we are still fine. That's why I got my stop loss there. Okay, now we turn to unfinished auction here so far. The market is really fighting at the support area here. Right there. A one-time event doesn't matter. If something happens one time, of course, it can cause a reversal, like these classic mean reversals. We know them. And they are almost untradeable. Unless you're very fast and you see a V reversal in the footprint chart. But most of the time, they, they're they not that important. You see, we've got sellers down here now, exhaustion down here. We might get stopped out. Yeah. And we out. Well, good trade. But overall, like I said, this is a potential reversal here. I don't want to be in the market anymore when I have a potential reversal. And in, in terms of correlations, I'm always looking at S&P. We see, oops, the market is retracing here we might get another retest here maybe then we chart it or the vvap let's see but overall i didn't want to be in this trade anymore when i see something like this if we get a breakout here obviously we can look for another trade opportunity but yeah i wanted to stay out yeah these are my trades uh from today i was very picky very very picky i've seen lots of potential opportunities very picky today but yeah i would say decent day I'm gonna call it a day right now, I think. May I'm gonna wait for a retest. Maybe we'll get a breakout retest, whatever, I don't know. But uh, when I see something like this, then I really wanna make sure to stay out. However, guys, like I said, in the next video, you will get a setup, a trade strategy, and I will explain you all the rules and how you can implement it into your own trading. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, in this case, we were not that aggressive in the management. I wanted to give the market some space for retracement and then, you know, another test of the bottom but if i see a potential double bottom then i'd rather stay up so i hope you enjoyed that video if you got any questions use the comment section leave a like if you enjoy that content and if you want to see more videos make sure to subscribe i'll see you in the next video peace